Hello. Uh, we are here today to present to you our mobile solution, uh, more precisely our containerized, containerized block ice machines. Uh, for this instance, next to us we have our 10 ton block ice machine into a container of 40 feet. Uh, now we're gonna go on the outside first of all you can see how we have set up and placed the condens condenser units and on the inside we have the machines and all the other cooling groups that we will see in a while. Let's go inside and see what we have. First of all, what you will notice is the isolation that we did inside the containers with panels. Also, we made sure to isolate the floor before installing the pool unit. As you see in the back of the containers, we have the condensing and the cooling groups, which consist of the two compressors, which are each the capacity of 30 horsepower. And you can also see the control unit, which allow you to start and stop the system and control and see what's going on with the machine. At the same time, it will give you any kind of signal if something goes wrong. Here we have two mixers, uh, which allow proper mixing and uh, dissolution of the salt inside the brine pool. Also, you can see the copper pipes, which when they are frozen, will make sure that the pool drops down to minus 15. And after that, when you fill up each can for seven to eight hours, you will have block ice produce. After the production of the block ice, you have your vinch. This vinch unit allows you to lift up every can after the uh, ice production is over, of course, and then move it towards the front of the container where you have uh, the pool filled with warm water. So when you dip the ice cans inside the warm water, it will, re it will release the ice and you're gonna place it inside the tilting unit, which will allow you then to tilt and remove all the ice that you will collect after that. As soon as you are done, you have to replace the cans. Here we have a semi-automatic filling unit, water filling unit. So your water source will be connected to this unit so that every time you remove the ice, you replace it back and you make sure that you fill up the cans before you put it back inside the pool. And after that, you're gonna be moving on to the next can until you have removed all of your ice and filled up all of the cans. Put it back and start another session. Totally, you will have three sessions a day, which will give you the total amount of 10, of 10 ton of ice. So if you need more information regarding, regarding this unit, you can contact us during our phone numbers, email or WhatsApp. Thank you. Oh, it's thick. Oh.